Hello and welcome. In today's episode of Dr. Nora, I take on the Stemscope Pro versus the Lipman Core Digital and see which one sounds better. Hmm, which one do you think is going to win? As you remember from my previous videos, I had a look at the Stemoscope Pro and I also had a look at the Lipman Core Digital. And this episode is purely about taking a listen to both of the sounds, where one amplifier sounds up to 100 and the other amplifier sounds up to 40. And we're going to be taking a listen to see which one is clearer and which one comes on top. But before we get started, I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below, which one is going to win? Thermoscope have up their game and they've actually got this device now FDA approved, which means that healthcare professionals such as doctors, nurses, anaesthetists, anybody working in the hospital field can actually use this for clinical practice. It is literally just a small listening device with a diaphragm on the back so you can have listened to your patient's heartbeats. But what are the features of this stemoscope? Well, you'll be surprised to hear that this stemoscope actually allows you to amplify sounds up to 100 times. You heard me right. You've seen my Bluetooth Litman stethoscope, which allows you to amplify it 24 times. And you've also seen my Litman digital core stethoscope, allowing you to amplify sounds up to 40 times. So this is like almost over double the Litman digital core, which is 100 times amplification. On the side, it's got a charging portal and also has a little toggle on the end here where you can change it for on, off, or even to listen to your headphones as well. When you receive the stethoscope, you should be charged up as I did, and it doesn't take too long to charge up. And if you are on the wards, you could just take it home, charge it up, at night time and then take it back with you to work. Now, when you are listening to your patients, you can actually toggle between the heart and the lungs and you can record the different areas that you've listened to. For example, if I'm listening to the heart, I can take a listen to the mitral valve and I can record that if I want to and so on and so forth. And with the lungs as well, I can listen to the upper lungs, or middle lungs or the lower lungs and I can record those areas too. First up, let's talk about the features that the stethoscope actually offers you. On paper, these sound really quite impressive. For example, it has up to 40 times amplification of sounds. Now, from my previous video, you'll note that I had the Bluetooth Litman stethoscope, which also increased the sounds, but up to 24 times. So this is like almost double that, which is impressive, right? We'll soon find out. It also has the ability to switch from um, analog to digital. So you can kind of still use your analog stethoscope like this one over here, but then with a the toggle button, you can actually go into the digital version and increase the sound. Not only that, but it also has active noise cancellation, which means that it's great because when you put your stethoscopes in, you won't be able to hear anything around you. Now, as I said, I got my hands on this for about a week or two at work. And let's talk about the aesthetics first of all. As you can see, it's a pretty sleek looking stethoscope. It's pure black and you can get variations of the stethoscope. You can change the chest piece, um, which can either be uh, gold or silver or chrome, but the predominant tubing of the stethoscope will always be black. In saying that, as it does have its main electronical piece at, towards the end of the stethoscope, it does make the stethoscope a little bit heavier. Now, this obviously is important because you need to have the battery in there, you need to be able to switch your toggles, and you also have the controls to increase your sound and decrease the sound as well. So this is something that you just can't get past, but it does make it a little bit more heavier than, say, your traditional stethoscope, which has got none of the annexes or appendixes towards the end of the stethoscope. And probably one of the more impressive features that the stethoscope has is that they've linked it up with an app called the Echo app. And what this does is it allows you to record those sounds, allows you to annotate those sounds, and even allows you to, with a subscription, to detect if there are any murmurs in that sound as well. So that means that you could save it onto your phone and then automatically with a monthly subscription, it will tell you if there is a murmur that has been detected. To make this an even and fair comparison, I'm going to have two sounds. One is going to be the Litman Core Digital and the other one's going to be the Stemscope Pro. But I'm not going to tell you which one is which, simply A and B. So what did you guys think now that you've had listened to A and B, which one comes on top? Which one's clearer? Which one would you like to use in your clinical practice? For those of you out there that guessed correctly, sound A is the Litman Core Digital and sound B is the Stemoscope Pro. Now, personally, I think there's really not much in it between two sounds. I have to say that both having the ability to amplify the sounds is superb. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you guys found this video useful and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and stay healthy.